Today's MVS shines on the 2016 Mercedes-Benz GLC 300 4Matic. The GLC class is a new small luxury SUV that debuted for the 2016 model year. The GLC class also serves as the replacement for the GLK class. Its price point makes it sit after the GLA class and before the new GLE class. Since it is an SUV, it continues to keep the G base name as well as all of the other Mercedes-Benz SUVs. With the name ending in the letter C, it states that it is equivalent to the C-Class sedan and coupe. There are currently only two trim levels available, the GLC 300 and the GLC 300 4Matic. A GLC 4-door coupe may also be in the works and will be similar to that of the new GLE-Class 4-door coupe. The GLC class is 183.3 inches long, stands 64.5 inches tall, and sits 74.4 inches wide. Today's GLC 300 4Matic is featured in the polar white exterior color. The front end begins with these automatic halogen headlamps complete with LED daytime running lamps. The front grille features chrome accenting in front of a mesh design, while the Mercedes-Benz badge sits directly above it. The front bumper includes more chrome accenting around the center air dam, as well as the standard collision assist sensors. The side mirrors are placed in color matching caps with black accenting and LED turn signal markers. The mirrors themselves are fully powered, power folding, and include the optional blind spot assist indicators. Chrome accenting can be seen around the window sills as well as on the color matching door handles. Black body cladding is found around the wheel wells and along the rocker panels. Today's GLC rides on the standard 18-inch, 5-spoke aluminum alloy rims wrapped with P235-60HR run-flat all-season tires. Braking is supplied by a 4-wheel anti-lock disc braking system with adaptive braking technology and brake assist. Four-wheel electronic traction and stability control programs, as well as cross-wind assist, come equipped as standard. A small rear spoiler is designed into the back above the rear window. The rear tail lamps are finished in an LED fashion. The rear bumper features black body cladding, chrome accenting, and dual exhaust outlets. Once inside, you'll see how the GLC's interior resembles that of the C-Class interior. At the time of this feature's production, the interior specs for front and rear passengers have not yet been released by Mercedes-Benz. Front safety features include dual front airbags, front side airbags, side curtain airbags, and a driver's knee airbag as standard. Rear safety features include standard side curtain airbags.
Today's GLC offers these MB Tech's appointed seats with perforated inserts featured in black with white contrasted stitching. Both front seats are powered adjustable, optionally heated, and the driver's seat includes three-person memory presets. The interior door trim includes linden wood trim, your powered and heated seat controls, your mirror and window controls placed on the armrest, a metallic door handle next to your door lock controls, a door pocket with integrated beverage holder, and your rear lift gate release. The dashboard continues to feature linden wood trim and metallic accenting throughout. The driver sits in front of a two-piece illuminescent gauge cluster that includes a 160 mile per hour speedometer, an 8,000 RPM tack, and indicators for your fuel level and coolant temperature. The driver information display offers a speedometer, your vehicle mileage, remaining fuel range, an eco display, vehicle timers, your navigation information, audio information, your media information, hands-free phone information, your assistance graphic and settings, service information, your system settings, the outside temperature, a clock, vehicle drive program, and current gear selection. The driver grabs on to a leather-wrapped four-spoke steering wheel with perforated inserts and extension grips at 10 and 2 o'clock. The left spoke includes your driver information display controls as well as your voice command off control. The right spoke includes your hands-free phone controls, your voice command, and audio controls. The manumatic shifting paddles are placed behind the spokes. Steering is provided through a speed-sensitive, electric-powered rack and pinion system. Off to the left sits your exterior lighting controls and your parking brake control underneath. The turn signal stock also includes your front and rear wiper controls. Under it sits your four-way powered column controls and your cruise control stock. 
Your gear selector stock sits off to the right. The center stack begins with this optional freestanding 8.4 inch high resolution display that allows access to the command infotainment system. Entertainment is provided through an AM, FM, CD, DVD, and MP3 audio system backed by a six speaker sound system. The command system also includes Bluetooth connectivity, HD radio receiver, voice command, and optional Sirius XM satellite radio with Sirius XM traffic and weather applications. The display also allows you to view the optional command hard drive navigation system access your media devices Access your hands-free phone controls. And access many of your vehicle settings. as well as other system applications. Under the display sits your dual zone automatic climate controls. When the settings are changed, you'll see the changes on the bottom of the display. If you push the menu button in the center, the climate control information shows up on the display in greater detail and you can use the command controllers to change the settings. Below them sits the CD player slot, your media shortcut controls, your vehicle settings shortcut, and your emergency hazards. The center console begins with two hidden cup holders, an ashtray, and a cigarette lighter. The middle of the center console includes your dynamic select control, which allows you to choose from four preset driving modes. Eco, Comfort, Sport, and Sport Plus. A fifth selection known as Individual allows you to customize a program to your liking. Behind it sit your permanent manual shifting control and your auto start stop control. Off to the right sit your audio volume control your command power control, and your traction control override. In the middle sits the command controller, which is used to navigate through the dashboard display controls. If you wish, the new command touchpad will do all of the same functions just by using your fingertips.
The armrest opens up to a small storage console with an SD card reader and two USB ports placed inside for your digital media devices. In front of the passenger sits a two-tier glove compartment. The ceiling includes sun visors with lighted vanity mirrors, your map lamp controls, your rear lighting controls, all around interior lighting controls, emergency call and service controls, and a place for a pair of glasses. The auto dimming mirror also houses your universal garage door controls. The rear door trim also gives your rear passengers lower door pockets. The back of the center console includes two air vents and an optional 115 volt power outlet as well as a 12 volt power outlet. Expandable pockets are placed on the backs of the front seats and the center armrest includes a storage console. You can also fold down the center seat back separately for longer cargo objects you may have. Next to the inside of the rear doors are the standard power folding rear seat controls. Once you open the lift gate, the GLC offers 20.5 cubic feet of cargo room with a total 56.5 cubic feet once the rear seats are folded. The first aid kit sits off to the left inside the netted pocket. There's also a 12 volt power outlet placed on the left hand side. And the power folding seat controls are placed on both sides of the cargo area. Under the locking floor, sits a large storage area. The GLC class is powered by a 2 liter dual overhead cam 16 valve direct injection turbocharged 4 cylinder that puts out 241 horsepower and 273 pound feet of torque. EPA estimates are rated at 21 miles per gallon in the city and 28 miles per gallon on the highway. The GLC also carries 
a 17.4 gallon fuel tank. Power is sent through a 9-speed automatic transmission with manumatic shifting feature. Today's GLC 300 is also equipped with the 4MATIC all-wheel drive system. Once in reverse, the standard rear-view camera is displayed with adjusting guidance lines. And that concludes today's MVS on the 2016 Mercedes-Benz GLC 300 4MATIC. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time right here on Mike's Vehicle Spotlight.